if you just need a flat incline bench for heavy lifting, then get the ATX MBX 750 Warrior Bench. This bench does nothing fancy. It is built like a tank, but it's also extremely compact, making it perfect for gyms and studios. The Warrior Bench was one of my first introductions to ATX, probably about 13 years ago now. At the time, it was branded Barbarian. Back then, the, the sawtooth adjustment system was not as popular or prevalent as it is today. So the bench did have some sort of a unique look. When checking them out online, it did sort of stand out to me what we had over here in Australia. But by no means would I regard it as a standout in the bench space. It was not until I got to see the bench in person at FIBO did I get a true appreciation for how good this little bench was. It was around the same dimensions as the Powertech benches that I was selling at the time. But when you saw it, it just looked so much more beefy. But it wasn't until I actually got my hands on it and felt it, that's how I got hooked. To give it a bit of context, the Powertech benches were great back in 2008. I've still got one now and still use it. But as the competition improved and better designs came out, the, the Powertech bench was simply outperformed. There's no other way around it. The Powertech bench had a linkage system which was needed for their leverage multi-gyms to get into position for shoulder press. Plus it was also great for shoulder pressing on half racks or Smith machines that didn't have a lot of depth. However, this linkage system did come with a drawback. Uh, as a general rule, whenever you add adjustability, you often do so at the expense of stability. Not all the time, but it did in the case of the Powertech bench. When you were lifting, it was fine, but you could physically wobble the bench from side to side if you're trying to. For some, this became an issue and the wobbling would be raised as a concern by people researching the Powertech benches online. Uh, and I even did videos addressing the issue, issue, but this stability was even more an issue in Germany. I guess my first experience with the German consumer was when I was working at the Powertech booth while in FIBO. The Germans would come over and methodically analyze every piece of equipment. It was almost like they were sort of um, downloading the blueprints. Then more often than not, they would come and give it a shake and just check everything that was so solid. And I could now see why German products in general are over-engineered. Over That's what Germans want. It was clear that the Powertech bench was not as appealing to the, the Germans. And at that time, ATX slash Barbarian were actually distributing Powertech in, in Germany and Europe. So I made my way over there, over there to check out their equipment. And when in Rome, I went up to the Warrior bench and gave it a shake. As you can see, the thing didn't move then and it doesn't move now. It was unfair, I guess, to compare the benches based on this as the Powertech bench performed a different role, but ultimately customers did compare them. And so did I. And this little bench here was one of the reasons why I started importing uh, ATX slash Barbarian into Australia. So that's my recommendation for this bench. The Warrior bench has remained largely unchanged over the years. Cosmetically, it looks far more appealing than it did in the past. It has always been incredibly well built and designed for the heaviest loads in, as a flat and incline bench. That has not changed. In this latest version, ATX have added the, the docking point for the headrest extension pad and the ab crunch attachment. Plus it has also got these rubber stoppers added so that you can store the bench upright. For gym owners, ATX now have the option to upgrade to PU pads. The sawtooth adjustment system now features the angles laser cut into the frame, which makes it just that bit easier when you're setting up for different exercises. The adjustment arm also features this little nylon sleeve so it just reduces the noise if someone doesn't disengage the arm when they change between angles. So it's a lot quieter than metal on metal. 
For gym equipment enthusiasts, the level of detail now on this bench compared to the past will have you uh, licking your lips. The old design just had a piece of round tube welded on the back and that act as support for flat bench. Now it has this angled custom ATX rubber boot. So it's more solid and even quieter than before. Even the handles on both the backrest and the seat pad feature knurling. The shrouds on the, the back leg not only hide the wheels, but it also disengages them when you get it into the upright position so it stops rolling. But ultimately this bench is just a workhorse. So I don't really want to keep banging on about how pretty, pretty it is. I'm just pointing it out because I know these days a lot of people looks are important. So with this bench, you can have the best of both worlds. This bench is not for everyone. For a home user who wants multiple exercises for each body part, you're better off getting a bench that can accept uh, optional bench attachments. One of the big drawbacks in the past with the Warrior bench was that it did not do decline. Now, I'm not a massive decline fan, so that's one reason why that, that was not a big issue for me and it did not detract from my, my admiration for this bench. But in true ATX fashion, they've come up with, a, with an excellent solution. Um, some would say that this decline solution is better than a lot of benches that are designed as pure FID benches. So with the addition of the ATX ab attachment, you can set it up. Now in this, I've got the backrest set at 15 and the seat set at minus 15. And if you want to go steeper, You can adjust them both to 30 degrees. So now not only do you have decline, you've got two really different angles. So for decline enthusiasts, this might get your uh, juices flowing too. Now these benches are really popular with gym owners who just want something basic. There are no pins or complicated mechanisms to adjust between the different angles. So you don't have the time and expense of repairing or replacing parts. Plus, they're IPF height and can handle any weight that you throw at them. So they're perfect for gyms where there's a strength training focus. They're also popular with the serious garage gym owner. If you have the space for say a dedicated leg extension, leg curl machine, or a, and you just want a bench purely for your power rack or dumbbell work, then this is a great option. The Warrior Bench is every bit as good as any high level bench up to and maybe over the $1,500 mark. But it is often more compact than particularly the American benches, which tend to be a lot longer, while it's every bit as solid. So even in a, in a large home gym, saving that bit of space, you're not losing anything in terms of functionality or, or um, stability, these benches are really good in that situation.